Recruiting medical workers away from Texas, it's part of a program from New Mexico's governor to fill jobs in her state. Our Will Dupree took a look at how politics factored into her pitch and how Texas doctors are reacting. This weekend, a full page ad appeared in five major Texas newspapers, including the Austin American Statesman. New Mexico's governor, Michelle Lujan Grisham, paid to publish an open letter encouraging Texas medical professionals to relocate given their state's tough restrictions on abortion. She wrote, We're fiercely committed to protecting medical freedoms here, and we're taking steps to ensure that what happened in Texas never happens in New Mexico. And we want to let those providers know that New Mexico provides a great place to, uh, to practice health care, but also without those barriers to being able to practice health care as they best know how to do it. The pitch also includes six billboards New Mexico placed around Houston hospitals, directing people to a new website listing job openings from at least 120 medical providers. Texas Governor Greg Abbott's office slammed the effort. His press secretary wrote in a statement, Governor Lujan Grisham should focus on our state's rapidly declining population instead of political stunts. However, the president of the Travis County Medical Society called it a bold move some might consider. Uh, it would be great if we felt that we could practice medicine without interference. Um, but ultimately, I think most people are committed to being in Texas. The president of the Texas Medical Association agreed. I am concerned about making sure we bring physicians uh, and keeping them in Texas because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being selfish, but I know we need help just like every other state needs help. New Mexico state leaders told us they spent approximately $400,000 on this campaign. They're having it run for a month and then reevaluating its effectiveness. Will Dupree, State of Texas. So it's entirely possible that we're going to have late-breaking deepfakes before Election Day that show a candidate drunk or saying something racist. An AI election year. Without any federal regulations on deepfake ads, some groups fear people will be misled before heading to the voting booth. The pressure on Capitol Hill to keep people informed. Preventing disaster. The family injured after a car crashed into an Austin emergency room speaks for the first time since local leaders approved a new safety policy to make hospitals safer. A measure leaders say this newly released video proves is desperately needed.